<clears throat> Welcome to Weld.com. We are live at the American Welding Society booth here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Esau booth, 4529. I'm featuring two machines today, one of which we've run before. We've run some videos on. A little Rebel 230 or 215, uh, full range of 030 applications, multi-process machine, runs extremely well. We've run this, we've run a lot of videos with it. Now we're going to feature a 235, 250 amp maximum output, full range of 030 or 035 wire applications. Also, the TIG, stick. We have the capability of running, uh, leaving the MIG gun on there, hooking the spool gun up direct, leaving all that alone. So, again, completely multi process machine. Uh, right now, we've got this set up for gas metal arc welding MIG. I just kind of want to make a run through and test this machine. So <clears throat> I'm going to get some gear on and I'm going to pull the trigger. I, I've, I've not run this machine before and I'm dying to see what it's all about. So hang with me. Let me get my gear on. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm getting ready to, uh, I'm getting ready to pull the trigger. I'm going to make a fillet weld. Again, I've never run this machine before. I've set my parameters at 20 volts. Uh, two, 45, 250 on my wire feed speed. I'm running C25 gas. I just want to pull the trigger to see where I need to make some adjustments. I may not need to. Again, simple fillet weld. One thing I do want to talk about, the difference between the 215 and the 235. 235 is a little bigger machine. Now you can put a 44 pound spool of wire in it. Okay, that, I, That's kind of a big deal. I mean, the smaller machine, multi-process, but we're running small banjo spools of wire or the two pound spools of wire. Now we're able to run a full 44 pound spool. We have complete range over all of the 035, anything that we'd weld like uh, structural and some piping and stuff. Also, we can run this up into the 045 range. Uh, this machine weighs 55 pounds, okay? Uh, that's a big benefit, being able to move it around is portable. So uh, I'm getting ready to pull the trigger here, so we're gonna readjust the camera. Hey, a second ago I said my values were uh, 20 volts and 250 and that's completely wrong. This is 20 volts and 400 on the wire feed speed. So, I'm just trying, to, just trying to drive this weld in here to see what it'll do. Hey, we just got through making our weld on our, our Rebel 235 machine. I'm impressed with this machine. This thing ran beautifully. I liked it. Very smooth. Uh, I know there's a lot of features and adjustments that I haven't even begun to play with yet. We have other machines that we have to test out here. That we've got some products that are new, uh, so you know we're going to be around. We're going to be playing with some machines, pulling the trigger, talking to some people about some applications and some some, some features on their machines. So uh, appreciate you watching. Bob Moffat with Weld.com. We're live at the American Welding Society show in Las Vegas, Nevada.